Hello YouTube, my name is Andre and I have a new tutorial for you. It's about connecting and syncing an OP1 from Teenage Engineering with a USB compliant MIDI device. The problem is um, that the OP1 doesn't have standard MIDI um, DIN cable connection and all the others have it, a lot of have it. So you need to find a way to do it via USB and for this you need um, a host, a USB host and there's a lot of a lot of solutions on the market. You can buy an iConnect Audio 4 Plus for example or a Canton MIDI host but all of this costs money and I always try to find solutions that are laying around here at my home studio and find out what, what I can do with the equipment here. So what also works is an iOS device. So it doesn't matter if it's an, an iPhone or an iPad, you can use it with a camera connection kit and a USB hub. And with this, you can connect both devices and sync them together with an iPad. If you don't have an iPad, you should consider buying a Canton MIDI host. Maybe that's the easiest solution. But if you have an iOS device, a phone or an iPad, or even an iPod touch, it doesn't matter this should work. What you need is the original Apple camera connection kit. With this you can connect um, the USB cable with the, with the USB hub. You also need a USB hub. It doesn't matter if it's very fast or, or slow. You need a powered one. That's um, a good advice because with this you can at least power the OP1. You can't power the, um, the iPad with um, the camera connection kit, at least that I know of. So you need um, a, a loaded battery on the iPad. And then you connect the USB hub with the, with the iPad and um, you power the uh, USB hub with, with external power. And then you can connect the machines. So of course the iPad goes to the back of the USB hub to this slot and then you connect your OP1 with the USB cable on the USB slot it goes this way Ta -da. connecting this a lot of cables the first one and that's the electron USB cable they are beautiful aren't they on the USB and then on the second part of the USB hub. And now you're at least on the MIDI side you're connected. You should also connect it audio wise. I use it with a 3.5 millimeter um, jack to two six millimeter jacks so you can connect your OP1 stereo to the Digitone. You could also do it mono because usually the OP1 is a mono synth only some effects are stereo and you have the beautiful effects of of the digitone here in my case and now everything is set up you need to launch an app on the on the iPad I use Audiobus because since Audiobus 3 it also can connect MIDI devices here's the standard Audiobus 3 audio tab if you go to MIDI and start your input connection you should see your um, OP1 MIDI device and your other USB device in my case the Electron Digitone and now you need to consider what you want to do my solution is I use the Digitone as the heart as the as the clock source and all the other devices as the clock receivers because I found the OP1 as a clock source is a little bit um, shaky, it goes up and down a little bit and if you use delay effects for example it's not so good. So I, sh I ensure you maybe use the, the Digitone or the Electron device as the uh, clock source. So the first thing I want to do is um, as an input I have the, the Digitone and I set this to the OP1. I use all channels and then I do it the other way around with the OP1 as a MIDI um, input and the output goes to the D 
digitone. So both devices are connected vice versa. And then you should look at your um, settings on your devices. You go on the digitone, you go with function and MIDI, and there's the typical electron um, sync and port config. And here I have set it to clock send. So the digitone sends the clock out to the OP1 and to the iPad and they are connected. Same goes for the port configuration. Um, you need to check that uh, MIDI and USB is um, selected or at least the USB. And um, one thing I have deselected here is the receive notes. That's because if you use the sequencer on the OP1 and you have receive notes on, you will hear the sequences also on the digitone. So it depends if you want to use the sequen sequencers of the OP1 also on the digitone, you need to have this option enabled. I have it disabled because I use the the arpeggiators on the digitone and the um, I mean the, the arpeggiator etc and the sequencer on the OP1 only for the OP1 so but it depends on what you want to do. Another important thing is um, the, the, the channel setup if you want to play the the digitone with the keyboard of the uh, OP1 you need to look for the auto channel and of course you ha have to to enable the receive notes and then you can use the the keyboard of the OP1 to to play the digitone I don't do it and um, that's all I guess and now um, if you look at the OP1 into the sync menu it should work if you have set it to sync. You do it with the green uh, knob and if you go on to the sync it should um, reflect the um, BPM. This also works on on iPad apps so for example if you use be the beautiful sampler app you can um, look at a clock source here and MIDI clock input and if you have um, have it set to the digitone this also works as the clock input anyway back to uh, back to stop please stop oh okay now it's stopped um I disable this right now and go back to to audio bus. Um now they are all set up. It also works with transport. That means if you press play on the digitone, it should also start the OP1. Let's see if this works. <laughs> That's my sequence on the on the digitone, and now I can start and um, have a have a have a drum part, for example, enabled here on the on the OP1, and have a sequencer. Let's see. Press play on the digitone. Also use the beautiful effects for the inputs of the um, of the digitone. Maybe one good tip for the uh, for the input settings of the digitone is I have mine set to 72, and I have set the panorama to left and right, and a slight amount of overdrive. And now you can also use the reverb and the delay, and it's beautiful. It works fine.
That's the idea. I hope you find this um, a good way for you. Maybe you try it yourself. You don't need too much if you have an iOS device laying around. Maybe that's a nice way for a small portable setup that you can take with you, with you or play a show. Um, that's a neat solution for me, I guess, to sync the OP1 with an iOS device, a standard basic 5 euro USB hub with an Electron device. Thanks for watching. My name is Andre, and if you have questions, just post them and I will try to answer. Thank you.